feels the need to provide a detailed description on this claim from Amy, but not for anything else. This is a common defense mechanism used by someone lying. When they feel as though their claims aren't being taken as truth, they try and depict the scenario in as much detail as possible to make it seem more authentic. Okay, so you took the smaller knife. From one of them. And is that the one that you said that you kind of went? Yes. Oh, I, I, was, I, was, I was going like this. I want it, I want it out. They were coming and they were punching me and they, they were uh, circling me and they came really close. They were pushing me in the water. I didn't even know if I was holding it right. I just grabbed it from him because he tried to poke me with it. I feared for my life. Sounds like I was it. very shocked. I was extremely shocked. Is this you? Yes. What do you think was happening at that time? They were, they were fighting me. They, they pointed the knife at me. They pointed the knife at me. Nick thinks this photo will actually help his case, but he's in for a rude awakening. Did you see anyone take this picture of you? No, God, no. I was, I was actually very, very uh, uh, scared. Yeah. I was very scared. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what they were doing and why. I mean, I understand they were drunk, but you get drunk, I get drunk, we all get drunk. We don't do that kind of stuff, especially on a family river like this, family outing. We don't do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I was very, you see, I was very, very scared. I didn't know what was going to happen next. So what happened? Can you tell me what happened? Yeah. Um, four people went to the hospital with injuries. Oh my God. And uh, one person died. Oh no. Not a very remorseful reaction for someone who's just learned he killed someone and injured four others. It's almost like he fully knew that he critically injured multiple people. I don't know any of their names and I don't know any genders, so I, I don't Was know. Was that because they fought each other or is that... I don't know. I don't know what their injuries are. I, I just, I was with Sandy the whole time and then when I kind of turned Sandy over to Ernesto and Amy, then I came here. So I, I, I have no idea what their injuries were. Oh my um, god. Oh my god. What other pictures did they give you of me? Just that one. That's the only one I have. No, my whole life they down the tubes. Well, I don't I don't know if that's the case. Because people have the right to defend themselves. I know, but this is oh this is Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin. Okay. We continue on. I, 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 I usually know that people that, that defend themselves, they end up being accused of being this and being that. Well, I think if you'd asked me what I would have done, yeah, I, mean, not I don't know. Enough. Yeah, you don't know. I don't know. I, I would have been scared shitless, I can tell you that. When, when that many people yeah. Yeah, tried to pull your pants down and hit you and yeah, and two, two, two boys had knives on them. They didn't find any of those two knives? I, I don't know. I don't know. But we're looking. And, you know, we're looking before it gets dark out. Um, I'm glad I actually took that kid's knife. He would have stabbed me. He was not there to scare me. He was there to harm me. Again, notice how every time a knife gets brought up, Nick feels the need to elaborately explain that he took the knife and whoever had it was trying to hurt him. This is all a deflection tactic to try and make his lie seem less suspicious. Nick would take blood vitals and the interview would conclude, but notice his difference in tone between the start and the end of the interrogation. Clearly, he feels like something went wrong, and those emotions would carry directly into his trial, which would go on for nearly two weeks. The trial began with opening statements, followed by witnesses witness testimonies from those present at the crime. These were a complete mess, and honestly made the prosecution's story seem a whole lot less credible. Take Larion, for example, who told a completely different story from what he told officers during his police interview. So what you've provided to the state in terms of what you say you observed, there's much more than that. True? Yes. So you give two statements, one about 11 days after the incident, 12 days, and one 21 months after the incident. Which memory, in terms of the dates when you give those statements, is one better than the other? If I said to you, memories normally better closer in time to an event, would you agree with that? Yes. All right. I remember he had a hat on. He looked like he wasn't supposed to be in the water. Like he just came out of, um, he came out of the bushes. Do you remember that? Yeah. So is it your testimony today, under oath, that the person involved in this incident had a hat on and came out of the bushes? No. You told the police. I told them that yes, but I don't. But I don't. 
like you said, it could be foggy. I don't think that's what it was no more, though. Were you intentionally lying to the police? No. This is the interview the lawyer is referring to. The, the guy with the knife, you recall what he looked like? Not too heavy set, but he was like an older man. He was an older man. I can't really remember like with his hair or anything. I, I'll just be making something up. I, I don't really remember, but he, I remember he had a hat on. Yeah, like, he he looked like he wasn't supposed to be in the water. Like he just came out of the um, he he came out of the um bushes. Next thing you know, he get to walking in the water, and they 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 like they like they was finna fight or something. The dude the dude in the water swung on him, and he pulled out the knife and got to stabbing him. Obvious lies like this work against the purpose of his witness testimony and make everything the prosecution says less credible. Generally speaking, this goes to show how unreliable witness statements can be. Larion's recollection of Nick's appearance wasn't even remotely close, yet he was fully confident in those claims. Besides Larion getting outed, the witness testimonies clearly show the jury all the evidence shown so far in this video and every factual piece of evidence that could be used against Nick. They claimed the teen's actions towards Nick did not justify the use of deadly force and should not be considered as self-defense. To further prove this, they presented autopsy reports showcasing just how severe some of the injuries inflicted by Nick actually were. Did you complete an internal examination of Isaac's body? Yes. Can you summarize the results of your internal examination of Isaac's body? Sure. Um, as I said, I observe, most important, I observe Sharpless injury to his left chest. Later, I classified this wound as a stab wound. So it was stab wound to the left chest. The stab wound penetrated to his left chest cavity. Then wound kind of continues and go to the left lung. He had a blood in his last, uh, left chest cavity. I recovered 200 cubic centimeters. It's approximately a glass of the blood. This would wrap up the prosecution's case and allow for Nick to take the stand. Nick would detail essentially the same story as in his interview, claiming that he was searching for a lost cell phone in the river when he was confronted by a group of people. He felt threatened and panicked when they surrounded him, leading him to use the knife in self-defense. The jury deliberations would begin on July 20th, 2023, and on July 21st, they would return a unanimous verdict, finding Nikolai guilty of first-degree intentional homicide with four counts of attempted first-degree intentional homicide. Nikolai had lost. This result was met with mixed reactions from the public. On one hand, it was clear that Nick's actions were extreme, and it was certainly not necessary to use that degree of force against the teens. However, he was ganged up on 13 to 1 precisely. In the moment, many felt his response was justified, and the teens put him in a scenario to fight for his life. On the contrary, those who watched all the evidence in court, aka all the footage shown in this video, realized Nikolai was lying through his teeth the entire time, and clearly felt he was guilty to some degree. However, public opinion is irrelevant in the court of law, and the jury gets the final say, determining he was a cold-blooded killer. The day of July 30th, 2022, Nikolai would be sentenced shortly after to life in prison. This 